So this question, we're going to try to figure out the number of ways you could fill out a ballot in a Grays Harbor County election uh, in November 2016. And so um, this is, I, I gave this, I have this link uh, for uh, on the worksheet. You can look at it as well if you want to. Um, so for a lot of the options, there's two options for a lot of your choices. For president, there's seven options. Um, and so on. So, for the Grace Harbor County ballot, November 2016, there are a lot of options. And what we're going to try to do is try to figure out how many ways were there to fill out this ballot. How many ways could we fill out this ballot? Okay, so I hope our bit of practice in the previous examples are going to help with this because there's absolutely no way we're going to be able to um, make it some sort of a diagram and list all the ways. It's just there's far too many. So we have to. So hopefully we've developed some some uh, clever ways, strategies for counting this stuff. So we'll just start with the federal options. Seven options for president or vice president. Um, two options for senator, two options for Congress, right? So um, if we do, so here's our federal options. So you've got one, um, oh, how do we like to do this? So um, for your for your president, you've got a vice president or vi and vice president together, you've got seven options, right? They come as a package. Um, uh, and then for senator, you've got two options. And I hope by now you know that that means there are 14 ways to vote, to mix your vote between president and senator, right? I hope you've figured that out by now. So, for example, uh, if the options for president are A, B, C, D, E, F and G, um, and the options for Senator are um, X and Y, we can go AX, BX, CX, DX, EX, FX, GX, or for President vote for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then for Senator vote for option Y, like that, right? A, Y, B, Y, C, Y, D, Y, E, Y, F, Y, G, Y, right? So those are the options for just take, so we've got, we, I hope you understand that that's 14 options, uh, ways of filling out the ballot just for president and senator alone, right? Now for Congress, there are two options for Congress, right? So... Um, that means if you pick any any votes for president and senator that, that you picked um, like option C for president and option X for senator now for Congress you might pick option 1 or option 2 so, so, so a different way of filling out this ballot is CX1 or CX2 so for every um, first option with just the two, with, with just president and senator, you can now create two different ways of filling out the ballot for Congress because you've got two Congress members. So just on the federal part alone, I hope by now with all the practice we've done that that you understand that for the federal part alone, there are twenty-eight ways. Seven times two is fourteen times two is 28 ways to vote just for the federal options, right? So um, now if you go down to state, there are two options for each of these seats. Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Secretary of State, Treasurer, Auditor, Attorney General, Commissioner of Public Land, Superintendent, Insurance Commissioner, State Senator, State Rep Position 1, State Rep Position 2. Hmm. I, so, um, how many of those are there? 
right? Because for state, for your state options, there's two ways to vote for governor and two ways to vote for lieutenant governor, right? So I hope you know by now from the practice we have, that's actually four different ways. If you just take the governor and lieutenant governor alone, because you could vote for candidate um, A for governor and then candidate X uh, for lieutenant governor. But then you could vote for A for governor and Y for lieutenant governor. Or you could vote candidate B for governor and X for lieutenant governor or candidate B for governor and Y for lieutenant governor. So those are the four ways. If, if A and B are running for governor and X and Y are running for lieutenant governor, you can see that there are four ways of voting for governor and lieutenant governor, right? And then if you take, if there are two candidates running for secretary of state, and those two candidates are option, um, option, um, let's see, C and D, you can pick any one of the ways you voted for governor and lieutenant governor, for example, BX, and you can go B for governor, X for lieutenant governor, C for secretary of state, or B for governor, X for lieutenant governor, D for secretary of state. So for every one of those four ways of voting for governor and lieutenant, you create two, two new ways of voting uh, once you put in the secretary of state option, right? And so that makes four times two, eight ways. So once we voted for Secretary of State, now there's eight. If you just look at these three options, Governor, Lieutenant, Governor, Secretary of State, there are eight options here. Eight ways of filling out the ballot, right? And so on and so forth. For Treasurer, that creates two more, right? And then Auditor, two more. Where are we at? Attorney General, that's two more. Public lands, two more. Superintendent, two more. Insurance, two more. State center, two more. State rep position one, that's two more. And position two, that's two more. Okay. What does that make? Two to the power of what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two to the power of twelve. And plug that in the calculator. What do you get? Four thousand ninety six ways alone of just voting for the state options, right? But then, as you know, if we were to combine that with the federal options, you would take the twenty eight ways of voting for the federal options, just take any one of those ways. And there are 4,096 ways to vote for federal and state, right? And so for every one of these 28 federal ways, there are 4,096 ways of voting for your state options, right? So that means going 28 times 4,096 gives you the combined number of ways you can vote for your federal options and state options, right? For county, Next, we have um, two options each uh, for Commissioner 1, Commissioner 2, District Court 1, Supreme Court, and so on and so forth, right? Now, there was only one option for these things, Superior Court Jurisprudence 1, and so on, so, so there's no so as long as you're as long as we discount the the idea of spoiling a ballot or not bothering to vote or whatever um, leaving those aside um, one option for these that means you know we'll call that no option right um, and then local tax levies there are yes no options for each of these ambulances fire service and school district okay so 
going for your county seats. Um, two options to vote for commissioner number one. Two options for commissioner number two. Uh, two options for district court number one. Supreme Court Justice Position 1, that's two options. Supreme Court Justice Position 5, that's two options. Supreme Court Position 6, two options. PUD Commissioner, that's two options. And the tax levies. Ambulance, yes or no, that's two options because it's yes or no. Fire service, two options. School district, yes or no, do you want to pay that tax? That's two options, right? And this makes 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2 to the power of 10. One zero two four. Right? And so, after all that, we have 28 ways to fill out the federal part. 4,096 ways to fill out the state part and 1,024 ways to fill out the county part of the ballot. So that combined makes 28. Times 4,096 times 1,024. So the number of ways that the ballot could be filled out is in fact... 28 times 4096 times 1024, which makes 117440512. Four, 117,440,512 ways of filling out that ballot in Grays Harbor County. Now, Grays Harbor County doesn't have that many people. So there were, there, were, there were millions and millions of ways, there were well over 100 million ways of filling out the ballot that hadn't even been done by anybody. Because it's not possible that, I mean, the county doesn't have enough people. And so, so there's so many ways of filling out that ballot, it wasn't even done, even though it doesn't look like there's that many. But there you go, that's the number of ways to fill out the ballot. Okay, which one of the which which is an interesting math um, view on it, but I have one more comment to make, which I'm going to make when in 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 a screenshot. One sec. So back to where we started. Um, over a hundred million ways to fill out this ballot, but for the most part. People vote for one party or the other party and for the most part each party has their own uh, platform so even though there's over a hundred million ways to fill out the, out the ballot uh, for, for most of it of course you just have two um, options really if you think about it so it from a math one from one math perspective of counting it we've got over a hundred million uh, kind of options, but from an from 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 another perspective, we kind of only have two options uh, uh, practically. So, just thought that was a a funny thing to look at.